conclusion. Let me start with some general information on magnetic properties and surface roughness. Surface roughness on the magnetic and electric uh, surface roughness affects on the magnetic and electrical properties such as magnetic domain structure, magnetic moments, coercivity, magneto resistance, etc. Determining the relationship between the surface roughness and magnetic properties has always been a very intriguing question in the field of thin film magnetism. The surface roughness and nanostructure of thin film are influenced by a variety of parameters, such deposition method and growth conditions. For example, deposition time, deposition rate, etc. Hence, the control of these parameters enable the modification of these, the film structure and morphology. Hence, the control of these parameter, parameters enable the modification of the film structure and morphology. The surface evolution study of the, of the thin film booth can present an insight on how to control the film growth by basic kinetics. Moreover, it helps to construct nanostructures that have desired properties in a controlled way. Because the new, a new material in modern technology requires the growth of two or more components, theoretical and experimental studies on the growth mechanism of this system are needed. Silver cobalt is one such material now for its broad range of application because it gains the benefit of both elements in the compound. It is a fav favorable material for drug delivery and magnetic sensor due to the presence of cobalt and for antibacterial activity and plasmonic sensor application due to the presence of silver. In this work, we explore the influence of film's roughness on the magnetic properties of silver cobalt films of different film thicknesses and discuss possible reasons for the feature evolution with the film thickness from the aspect of microstructure. Finding a correlation between film thickness and magnetic property is of significant to achieve optimal combination of performance and cost, which will be advantageous to further industrial usage of, usage of silver cobalt films. I'd now like to move on the next part, experimental. Electrodeposition was used for preparing silver cobalt films. The solution used for electrodeposition are reported in this table. Solution pH was kept constant and at the two, an electrodeposition was done at room temperature using an atolab galvanostat potentiostat. Silver cobalt was galvanostatically J1, J equal 1 million per over uh, centimeter cube. Boom. Silver cobalt film prepared with different thickness. Turning out attention now to result. The energy dispersive, dispersive X-ray analyzed 
analysis, a spectrum of the cobalt silver films is shown in this figure. As this figure shows uh, that the atomic per percentage of silver to cobalt were 76 to 24. And the percentage of the silver in uh, silver cobalt compound did not change much when the deposition time was increased. Crystalline structure of the silver cobalt films um, is shown in this figure. In this figure, uh, the X-ray pattern of OG cobalt film with thickness of uh, 200 nanometer. As this figure show, for diffraction peak of one, 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 two, 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 zero, zero, two two zero and three one one reflection of silver are observed suggesting that the sample is single face face fcc silverware this is suggested that the metal stable solid solution is for despite the strong tendency of silver cobalt system for phase suppression neither FCC or HCP cobalt was seen in all films. It should be noted that FCC cobalt 111 plants would have been overlapped by that of silver 200. We studied the effect of the thickness on magnetic properties of silver cobalt films. For this, purpose, uh, for this uh, purpose, in plan and out of plan magnetic hysteresis the slope of silver cobalt films with various thicknesses were recorded using vibrating sample magnetometer. And the results are shown in this figure. Uh, no, no considerable anisotropy is seen. And the lobe become narrower with increasing the film thickness. It might be due to the increase of, uh, increase of the film thickness resulting in increasing gray cells and further increase the soft magnetic property. Supposing a rotational magnetization procedure of slightly increasing fine particle, actually coercivity of thin film is inversely proportional to particle size. The upper figure is the upper figure shows the thickness dependence of coercivity of silver cobalt tin films. The thicker the, the, the thickness dependence of coercivity of silver cobalt tin film is displayed in this figure, indicating that the coercivity of silver cobalt films decreases with the film thickness. A similar behavior was observed for cobalt film grown on silicon substrate. A squareness is defined as the ratio of Riemann and magnetization and the saturation magnetization. Variation of the squareness of silver cobalt tin film versus the thickness of silver cobalt tin film is shown in the blue picture. The thicker films have less squareness compared with the 
thinner one is smaller ones. A smaller squareness will show a spin rotation reversal mechanism, while larger squareness of the hysteresis curve indicating that the magnetic reversal occurs by domain one nucleation and the coercivity is due to delay of domain wall nucleation. AFM image of IU substrate is shown in this figure. As this figure shows, the substrate is highly smooth. Hence, a resurface roughness is greatly due to electro deposition process. There exists a single rough boundary on the surface of the silver cobalt fit. The selective AFM 3D image of a cobalt, a silver cobalt film with different thickness are shown. Are Show, show in this figure. As shown in this figure, all of the film have a granular feature. Also, the thinner films show a smaller granule size in comparison with the thicker one. In this slide, we define the RMS roughness. RMS root is mean square roughness is, a standard, is the a standard duration of the surface height. Also called the interface width. Width in the given area, it is one of the most parameters for describing a rough surface and is given by this relation. RMS roughness grows as a power law in time. All alterna alternatively fill thickness D till the T. W till the T to the power beta. Beta is growth exponent. In this figure, we see log log plots of the RMS roughness as a function of the thickness of silver cobalt tin films. As the figure show, the sample electrode deposit, deposited at a lower deposition time has less RMS roughness than which electrode deposited at a higher time. This behavior is caused by the degree of aggregation and the cluster size of the silver cobalt films. The gross exponent beta equal one two six one uh, plus mine one two one dot one zero dot zero five is obtained from the slope of the line of base fit to the data this figure. By comparing the, these figures, we understand that it can be found that increasing film thickness lead to a reduction in the coercivity and an increase in the surface roughness of the silver cobalt films. This result indicates that there is a close relationship between the coercivity and the microstructure of the film surf, uh, thin film surface. Therefore, it is assumed that the surface roughness largely influences on the coercivity of silver cobalt films. This shows that thin film growth mechan mechanism and surface roughness can have sturdy effect on magnetic feature of the team field. We define power, uh, power spectral density. 
Common spectral density or PSD is related to a Fourier transform of the surface height and defined as this relation. In this figure, the PSD of the electrode deposited silver cobalt tin film with various thickness. As the figure show, a linear behavior for large, large K value, suggesting that suggesting that for this short length scales, the surface of silver cobalt films or self-affine and correlation over the surface roughness or exist in the silver cobalt film morphology. The value of the spectral roughness exponent alpha sub s change in the range of zero dot seven nine plus or mine zero dot zero nine two zero dot six four mine or plus zero dot one zero the PSD curves of all sample samples are parallel to the horizontal axis for a small co-value, showing that there is not any spatial correlation for this larger length scale. Both correlated regime and non-correlated regime or distinguished but cutoff frequency cos of cutoff. Cos of cutoff tilde one over Kc. Kc is the correlation length. Uh, the correlation length Kc grows as a power law in the time. Kc tilde t uh, to the power one over z. As the film thickness increases, the cutoff frequency shifts toward lower cut. Therefore, toward the higher spatial scales. Log log plot of the correlation length as the function of thickness of silver cobalt film is shown in this figure. The value of one over z equal one zero dot three six plus or minus uh, one zero dot zero three is indicated that a three dimensional cluster goes in in which only the contact line to the substrate service is active in the mass transport. A scaling behavior. The scaling behavior can be determined by studying the PSD. For a self-affine surface, it scales with time as this relation. Local slope. The high fluctuation can be described by the root mean square surface slope and is defined as this relation. If the system has an anomalous scaling behavior, rho increases with time as a power law. Rho tilde t to the beta star power. The local, the local slope as a function of the thickness of silver cobalt film is shown in this figure. The anomalous exponent beta star equal 0 0.36 is obtained using curve fitting to data 
For further explanation, it can be said hydrogen bubbles, which are produced during the electrodeposition procedure, adsorbed on the film surface and block the film growth sites. So, bubble implosion abruptly incurs in local diffusion in the stability of react reactants during the escape to the atmosphere. According above calculation, the local growth exponent is beta sub log equal beta minus beta star equal one zero dot two five. Due to the inequality of beta and beta sub log, it can be concluded that the scaling is anomalous. By comparing the value of beta with two component single step or TCSS model, our result may show that the coupling strand between cobalt and silver particles is not strong in silver cobalt field. Since the scaling expo exponent for the silver cobalt film is almost equal to the scaling exponent for electrodeposited cobalt, a single component film. Moreover, the value of alpha equal beta z is 1.69 and the value of alpha sublog equal beta sublog z is 0 0.72. The value of alpha sublog equal 0 0.72 is found denoting that the memory effect is exists and his growth and coarseness, coarseness is in mount during electrodeposition process is continued. Since alpha sub S is less than one and alpha sub log almost equal alpha sub S not equal alpha, the surface growth of the silver cobaltine films has an intrinsic anomalous scaling behavior. Magnetizing factor. In general, the demagnetizing field of a magnetic material is caused by the generating of magnetic pole near its boundary due to the finite shape of a material. The magnetic pole give rise to the 2M demagnetizing field, which is opposing the applied field. The strand of H depend on the geom geometry and magnetizing of a material M. H, H, H sub D equal minus N M, where N is the magnetizing tensor depending on the shape of magnetic object. The magnetizing factor satisfy the below relation, while n sub x y equal n y y n y n sub y z equal zero to first order upon the ensemble average. For isotropic surface, a, there is n sub x x equal n y sub y y. Assuming that the film is uniform and single domain be the homogeneous magnetiza magnetization for an isotropic surface and under the small slope assumption, in plan demagnetizing factor for a thin film on a smooth substrate, 
is determined by this relation. N sub xx equal this relation. In this figure, the implant demagnetizes, demagnetizing factor N sub xx as a function of the local roughness exponent. It can be seen N sub xx is strongly affected by alpha sub log. That is that increasing alpha sub log lead to de decrease of N sub xx. Scaling behavior for self affine surface, the implant demagnetizing factor its leading order scales as n sub xx tilde w cube over d kiss. Using the dynamic scaling hypothesis, n sub xx scale with time as n sub xx tilde t to the power minus epsilon. That Epsilon is scaling exponent and is equal, epsilon equal to beta minus one over z minus one. The implant demagnetizing factor as a function of the film thickness of silver cobalt tin films in logarithmic scale. The value of epsilon is confined. The value obtained from epsilon equal to beta minus one over z minus one equal minus zero dot one four with one over z equal zero dot three six and beta equal 0 0.61 given by dynamic scaling scaling results in this slide. In this figure. This offers a quantitative correlation between demagnetizing factor and surface roughness. Conclusion, we study surface roughness and magnetic properties as a function of the film thickness of the silver cobalt tin film. The crystalline structure of silver cobalt films was characterized by XRD and results show that the silver cobalt film was single phase FCC silver and despite the strong the tendency of silver cobalt system for phase separation, neither FCC or HCP cobalt was seen in all fields. There is some technical problem, I think. Network connectivity. Dr. Maria, there is some network problem from sets of local exponent. The plan and out of plan magnetic properties of silver cobalt tin film were measured by VSM. No considerable anisotropy was seen. The lobe become narrower with increasing the film thickness. It was 
on that the thicker film have less squareness compared with the thinner film one. The results show that the coercivity of silver cobalt film decreases with the film thicknesses, while the local slope increases with the film thickness. It is concluded that film growth mechanism and surface roughness can have a sturdy effect on magnetic feature of thin films. Thank you all for your time and attention. Thank you.